Nelson, along with his partner Gene Lydic, and the man in the middle, the, the legendary wrestler Luthez, there to offer uh, advice to the American wrestlers? Well, certainly that's a, an advantage for the Americans because they have someone that knows the Japanese way and the Japanese culture and has participated in Japan in both professional wrestling and the shoot wrestling. Steve Nelson, a former All-American Sambo champion. What is that, Jeff? Well, Sambo was introduced by the Russians in the 1980 Olympic Games. It's a combination of both wrestling and judo where you have to wear a gi. So he is well versed in submission holes. That's the big tactic in Sambo. And of course, he's got a wrestling background. And a little showman in him as he enters the ring. Gene Lydic. Well, who's been living in Japan recently uh, to become more familiar with the martial arts. Legalized assault and battery, baby. Well, that's basically what shoot wrestling <laughs> is, and he better be ready for it because uh, his background being a wrestler and, of course, a football player, he's a tough guy, but he's, he's been over in Japan trying to learn the martial arts so that the strikers don't have a big advantage on him, and we'll see exactly how much that training has helped him. He really gets pumped up. I've seen him in a couple of matches, including uh, shoot wrestling too, and he really gets psyched up for his matches. Well, different athletes prepare themselves in different ways. Silent but deadly is one of the old phrases that I much enjoyed. I don't want to sit there and mouth off at my opponent. I want to get in the ring and do, do battle with him. Now the Japanese tag team of Kazushi Sakuraba, who's in the ring, and now his partner, Masahito Kakahara, will be heading into the ring. Kakehara very fast and a very dangerous fighter. Particularly good at striking, kicking and, and, and hitting with the hands. And that's really a big advantage to most of the Japanese athletes because they're well versed in it. Now we see the striking with the open fist, the palms, and yet that still has a tremendous effect. The heel of your hand will hurt every bit as bad as the fist if placed properly. Uh, they are allowed to use a closed hand on the body, but to the head it has to be an open hand, and if you know how to use the heel of your hand, you're putting punishment to your opponent. Now, as we look at a tag team match, there are strategies used by the, the teams here that you have to look out for. Without a doubt, if I was in the American's shoes, I want to avoid Kakihara at arms and foot distance. Either close the gap on him so that he can't strike you, or have the other one, uh, Sakuraba, in there to uh, take the battle to. How long do you want to stay in the ring? Well, it's a matter you make a of change. feel on how the flow of the match is going. If you feel you're in control and you have weakened your opponent, it might be time for a fresh, your fresh partner to come in and finish him off. And certainly, without a doubt, they want to work on Sakuraba first and try to get him out there so that they can put a submission or knock him out. But without a doubt, it's going to be Kakahara who has the, uh, the better striking and uh, the kicking, and I would be very leery that the Americans are going to feel comfortable with him in the ring. In shoot, in shoot Wrestling 2, Kakahara beat Dan Severin, an American fighter, turning that fight around with his kicks. Something to look for. You stick with your strengths. I can't emphasize that enough. You don't want to play the other man's game. Even if he's a great striker, you don't have to prove you're tough by being a striker with him. You want to prove you're tougher by whatever skills you possess can outweigh that. Now, we're seeing Steve Nelson in with the long pants as opposed to the trunks that the other fighters are wearing. Any reason for that? Well, he he's basically has what, what are the same as uh, uh, bicycle shorts. They end just mm. above the knee, but he's fully padded from the knees down, and that, of course, is to prevent cuts and such, uh, wind striking, kicking and such, kneeing. Quick kicks, and there is the speed of Kakahara all over Gene Leidick. Leidick covering up with the hands, took a lot of those blows on the arms. Uh, some of them weren't as effective as they could be, but they certainly have their effect. And you see Kakihara not wanting Whoa. to go over. And a little extra shot by Leidick. And suplex, and he added a little emphasis after the referee broke them. No love loss. No, not at all. Kakihara wrapping his arm around the ropes. Now, the ropes are safety. And Kakihara moving out. And I wonder there about that tag. This is the this is the, the situation the Americans wanted. Oh, good takedown down by right Sakuraba. Lydic on his back. It's not going to really hurt him here. This is not wrestling. You can be on your back. What you look now for is a hold on an arm or a leg, which you can turn into a submission. Lydic wants to be careful here. 
Sakuraba trying to take him back into the middle. Good break by Lydic. Communication between teammates is important. If your, if your teammates see something that might work, you certainly want to encourage your partner. That was interesting to see the Japanese team change early, very quickly. And yet Lydic, now Lydic here changing off. Nelson comes into the ring. Now Steve Nelson against Kazushi Sakuraba. Sakuraba in on a single leg. Take down, nice counter. Working on the legs now. Pretty good submission here. This is Nelson's strength, is Sambo and finding submission holes. And he's moved quickly into the center of the ring to get Sakuraba away from the ropes. That's right, you don't want to have a, an avenue of escape presented to your opponent. Put him in the most uh, vulnerable situation you can, and that is the middle of the ring with this type of a lock. Now, he seems to have the pressure off right here, but that leg is straight. If Nelson is able to get to his back here, he's going to be able to put some terrific pressure. And Nelson using the right leg to try to extend even further. It's a forced split right there, but Sakuraba able to get to the ropes. They'll start up again. And the tag off. Now, this is a question for the Americans. Kakihara here is a good striker, and how much experience does Nelson have in receiving kicks and hands? Good takedown by Nelson, quick reversal by right Kakihara. Submission hold. Kakihara in pain gets to the ropes. You can see the pain that Kakihara was in. Tremendous action here, Nelson. Very good with submission holds. Had Kakihara in trouble, but the ropes came into play. We talked about the quickness of Kakihara. Big slam there, taking Nelson down. That and traveled, a tag off. That traveled horizontal. A good throw starts with your feet not moving. That way, all the energy of the throw is directed to your opponent. Whoa, that kick just missed. Now, it seemed to me, Jeff, that Nelson was in a bit of difficulty, and yet Kakihara went and tagged off. Don't understand it. Other than the fact that maybe this is a ploy in which leave the Americans out here a little bit longer and they'll get tired quicker. Quick changes means you stay fresher longer. That certainly is a strategy in a tag team bout. You can see you can still kick while on the, on the canvas, but the ropes came into play so they break. And you see there's usually no hanky-panky at a break. It's a clean break because this is really a, a clean fight. The rules are very established, just about anything goes. And there's no need for any of the uh, uh, tactics that we see in other forms of professional wrestling. Sakuraba with the chokehold, the quick reversal by Nelson. Nelson's been in there for quite a while. Oh, that's a good throw. That's a good throw. That went straight to the back. Feet stayed in place, so all the energy was transferred to his opponent. What kind of effect does that have on Sakuraba? Well, one is you don't want to get in there. Certainly, he's going to feel less and less comfortable being that close to the American. Uh, but he's able to come back from this. Uh, uh, Nelson has the arm, the short arm bar, but he's not able to get anything going in there. Sakuraba almost had a short arm bar. That's basically where you're attacking the elbow joint. You're trying to hyperextend the elbow joint. Now Nelson will tag off. Back into the ring comes Gene Lydic against Sakurabo. Goes for the kick quickly. Nice headlock. Good wrestling technique. Tries to come away with an arm there. Start to work on the face now. Submission hold. To reinforce cross face. And Sakuraba getting to the ropes with the right leg. Bringing about the break and the tag off brings Kakihara back in. I wonder if a tooth got loosened up there or maybe a, a cut lip or tongue. It's a very painful hold. In wrestling, that's how you stop leg attacks, cross faces. Oh, short arm bar. Oh, that's tight. And Nelson, rather, oh. Lydic gets to the ropes. Lydic was lucky. You hear the referee, you know, asking, give up, give up, pointing his finger almost like a play gun. That's where the word shoot comes from. You're under the gun. Are you going to give up or keep going? And Lydic was able to get his foot to the rope. And he'll do that every time there's a submission hold that's by correct. either fighter. That is correct. The choke hold submission. Now, see, that's the beauty of the strike. That's the beauty of the strike. He came up and slapped Lydic's face, and it distracted him to be able to get into a hold. 
A good submission hold, and Leidick again, lucky to get to the ropes. And Leidick punched back almost in anger, punching the back, and then got to the ropes in time for safety. Well, it's a cute little uh, uh, strategy there. Very, very subtle, but it works. It's sort of like putting your hand in a person's face, knowing they're going to react blinking. Slapping them has the same effect. There seem to be fewer kicks being employed by the Japanese and more takedowns going for the legs. At this point, yes, and maybe this is a direct ploy by Kakihara to save some of those uh, great striking uh, te techniques he has for a little bit later once the bout uh, has the fatigue ele element introduced to it. And as this match wears on, fatigue becomes a big ploy. Now Steve Nelson in against Sakuraba. Nice single leg attempt. Oh, a knee almost connected there to the head. Oh, and there's Good a nice down. suplex. And Nelson goes for the safety of the ropes. That's the best time to go for a submission is right after the, your opponent impacts. He's stunned. He's not fully aware of his environment. That's the time to go for it. Still flexing his shoulder. Kakihara is back in the ring and using the kick to the legs. Very dangerous with those kicks is Kakihara. You bet. Nice switch. Wrestling hold. And that's Nelson maintaining control on top, though neither opponent is in danger now. Chokehold, starting to work on so Oh, a beautiful wow. counter. Oh, he's Good in trouble Good kick to the midsection. He can still kick him while he's down. Kicks to the body illegal. Two on one to a single. Oh, another attempted kick to and the he head. Got he, him. Score he got him with the down. left leg. Nelson is knocked down and shaken. What a kick by Kakehara. The count is six, he's up at six and still very, very shaky and going for the tag. Gene Leidick comes in, Kakehara is also tagged off to Sakuraba. Again, introducing the tactic once fatigue set in and, a, and it looked as though Nelson, with his unfamiliarity to the martial arts, you know, was vulnerable for a strike. And as he held that leg in the air, looking for a way to put on a submission hold, he paid the price. Liddick looking for a back souple there, a suplex as they call it. Tipped it going for the arm ankle arm. hold here. He's got it tight, but they're up against the ropes. He hasn't seized the ropes yet, so he hasn't lost a point. He'll continue to fight until he feels he has no choice. Oh, nice sneaky tactic going for a short arm bar himself. Takehara looking on as his partner Sakuraba tries the submission hold on Gene Leidick. The hold is still present, even in this position. That's why he hangs onto the arm that long. There, Liddick finally broke it. You'll see these people tumble and move, and it may not look like there's a lot of sense, but they constantly maintain the hold, waiting for that one moment to put the pressure on. And there, Sakuraba, lucky to get to the ropes himself, and he goes right to the corner. Leidick had him in serious trouble. Look at the strikes there, the open palm strikes by Kakehara. Knee to the midsection, oh, and Leidick. again. And Leidick better get out of the corner. Really, the rules of boxing apply there. Don't get stuck in the yeah. corner upright. You're, you're a target. You're vulnerable. Submission hold. You heard the referee with the give up call. He's got the submission sign, the shoot sign on. Leidick looking for the arm. You heard his partner, Nelson, yelling, pull it, pull it. Understand there's genuine dislike between these two, Kakehara and Leidick. Leidick, you can tell, is a real tough competitor. Well, I'm sure anyone that steps into the ring and shoot wrestling is a tough competitor, no. but these two have met before, a genuine dislike, and it certainly shows uh, when they get out in the ring, particularly the way Kakehara started this match, coming right at Leidick and taking it to him. Oh, that kick and hurt. The kicks by Sakuraba. Oh. Nelson oh. is hurt and goes down. That Nelson heading for the corner and tagging off, bringing Leidick back in, and the crowd responding to the kicks of Sakuraba. Certainly they have their effect. They slowed Nelson right down. He had to go right to the corner and tag out. Oh, Leidick with a beautiful throw. Straight belly to belly. And Sakuraba 
felt the effects of that. What's Leidick need to do to follow up here? He should have followed up a little more quickly. He had Sakuraba uh, stunned there, but he didn't apply any kind of a submission. Oh, here he has a, a key lock on, torquing that arm. Referee, you see his finger and thumb sticking up. That's the gun, that's the shoot. You're under the gun, do you give up or not? And Sakuraba able to get to the ropes to break that hole. And he needed to get there quickly. Quick tag. Lydic tagging off to Nelson. Nelson right back in. Kakahara looking on. He cut Sakuraba off from his corner. That's an important tactic. You'll see him do that to keep the fatigued wrestler in there as long as possible. Great Sakuraba knees. hurting, goes down from the knees, and an extra kick to the head by Nelson. Knockdown. That's worth three. Sakuraba able to get up, but quick change. There's Sakuraba striking Nelson. Now Nelson back in uh, after a light softened him up, and he's taking it to him now. Good slap, breaks the grip. Oh, tough knee. Sakuraba covering up after the slaps, opening up the body, and Nelson digging the knee into the body and tags off again to Lighting. The American staying fresh and not allowing Sakuraba to get to the to his corner. Now there, Sakuraba wanted to try to get around it, but Lighting cut the ring off. Submission try now, going after the leg. Even here, the ankle, hyperextending the ankle, pulling back on the toes, point it, making Sakuraba point the toe and actually take it beyond straight there. Oh, that's got to hurt. And Sakuraba once more grabs the ropes. Lydic holds on just long enough to tag off to Nelson. Cute little tactic. Keep him down, let Nelson get in there. Nelson in tight. Sakuraba still can't get to the corner. Nelson with the face lock. It's basically just leaning on a guy's skull with your forearm, and if you use the, the sharp edge of your forearm, that really smarts. He's trying to break the grip of Sakuraba to get that arm free and thus isolate it and get that submission hold on it. Is there a good way to break the grip when you have the hands locked like that? Well, he did two things. First, he slapped him in the face to try to just disrupt him or stun him enough to break the grip. And the second is to attack the hands directly. But what happens when you do that is you let go of the lock. The tag off to Leidick, and again, Sakuraba gets the knee into the midsection of Leidick. But there's not much on it. Sakuraba has been worn down here. He's tired. Lighting with the submission Tough. try. Oh, he's got the toe. You can see the pressure on that ankle. Sakuraba in trouble. Lighting trying to finish uh -oh. him. Sakuraba spins off nicely. He still has the keyhole, though, you see? That's why they they travel so much on the mat as you hang on to that lock. It's not wrestling. It's not trying to put your opponent on his back. It's trying to injure your opponent. Here comes Nelson back in. Sakuraba just gets up now oh, in a hurt. lot of pain. The slaps by Nelson. He's all over all right. Sakuraba. Good knee. Constant action. Nice throw. Oh, quick attempt by Sakuraba there to get Nelson's arm, but he wasn't able to do it. Surprised that Sakuraba didn't go for his corner for a tag off. Good I kick by might. Sakuraba. No. Now he tags off. Takahara back in there quickly oh. all over Nelson with the kicks, and Nelson goes down. That's a knockdown. Beautiful shot to the head of Nelson. Nelson shaking up. He seems okay. He's going to continue. Oh, the spinning kick missed. Good knees Good to the knees. midsection, oh. and again, down goes Nelson. I think that's only a one-pointer. He's... he's he didn't get hurt that bad there. But it's a knockdown. They're calling it a knockdown. Up at seven, Kakahara with the strong kicks. Coming in again. Missed the spin. I like Kakahara. He really comes after you. And he's really good with the technique of striking and kicking. It's, it's fascinating to watch this. Nelson just staying low here. See, Kakihara, I think, should kick him here. Keep the attack. Oh, he was setting him up for that. Missed and he the just spin. missed. Oh, and that one just missessed. I thought that might gra might have grazed his head. It does look like it might have caught him right next to the eye there, but he tags off Sakuraba now in, going right back to the kicks. Oh, hard kicks Smart. to the leg. Oh, Knee to the midsection. He's going to go for a suplex. He's taking too long. Nice move by oh, Nelson. Oh, oh hard takedown. Sakuraba is hurt. Tag off to Lighting. That shot went right to his head. 
And you got the referee asking if he's going to quit. Light it right in right away. Oh, beautiful belly to belly. Sakuraba is hurt, and he may be out. He's in trouble here. He's going for the suplex now. Lydic looking to launch him. He's got him up high. Oh, that could do it. Great throw. Sakuraba is out on his back. Oh, they're calling it a knockdown here. It almost looks like a knockout, Sam. They're counting. Sakuraba can't get the tag off. He can't get up the tag. And he that's really be out. He's, He's counting out. out. Great throw. What a throw by Leidick, a beautiful suplex. And he set him up with a belly-to-belly -belly amateur throw first just to stun him. And Leidick with some extra words for Kakahara. That's what we talked about He's earlier. In. They don't like each other. They're going after each other with this bout already over. But Leidick is rubbing in his victory. He's pointing at Kakihara's opponent and really making fun of Kakihara. I don't think there's any need for that display. See Nelson pulling him away. This is what it's about. It's just the fight. Not about talk. It's about fight. Leinick and Nelson, winners over Kakihara and Sakuraba. And this was when Nelson was in trouble. Well, the tag was made. Kakihara went out to let Sakuraba come back in. And Sakuraba does the right thing. He goes right after the legs, kicks him. Has Nelson in real trouble after that knee, and right here he should have thrown, and he didn't. And because of that, Nelson was able to turn around a counter, and he who throws first in wrestling wins. And there, Nelson just delivers a throw that puts Sakuraba right in his head. He's stunned now. A fresh light it come in, comes in, and this is the beginning of the end. Now here the referee actually protecting Sakuraba. Checking Sakuraba out, gets, right. gets up and Leidick finishes him off with the big throws. See, no weight at all, goes right into that belly-to-belly -belly salto. Great throw. Right now, Sakuraba is basically stunned and immediately Leidick rolls him over to set him up for this suplex. And this requires tremendous power. Pick an opponent up off the mat into the air and here he holds him, gets maximal height. Oh, oh driving punishment to the head. And that led to the knockout. And there, Leidick comes right up and points at him. He knows he delivered a crushing blow. The match was very close at the time. And there you see Gene Leidick and Steve Nelson, the happy, victorious pair, heading back to the locker room. And they did what they set they, out to they're do. They pumped up. They, they went out there and they did the right thing. If you know Kakahara is the better, Kakahara is the better athlete of the Japanese, you want to isolate on, it, on the other opponent. And that's yeah. just what they did. Now that's, Destruction, that's baby. That's the way it's done. <laughs> now, this was a dangerous point for Steve Nelson. Hard kicks by Sakuraba to well, the legs there, of Nelson. Yeah, that one hit him in the knee, and then he follows it up with a couple to the outside of the leg. And this is destroying the thigh. I mean, this is taking the legs out of your opponent. And if you don't have legs to stand on, you're not going to be much of an opponent. Ooh. Sam, those kicks take their toll. Yes. Well, I knew to the leg, there wasn't no way I was going out. The only way they're going to put me out is going to be knock me out or submit me. I'm not going to go down because somebody's kicking me in the legs. I can fight that all day long. The main thing that counts is I got to the corner, he came in and saved the day. And if you win, that makes a good team. So I really need to say about that. We're great. Follow our game plan. Um, all I got to say is Steve Nelson showed some of the most guts I've ever seen. He just, those guys are really hacking away at him and uh, they couldn't put him away and I think it demoralized him. And then he found the opportunity to come and tag me in. I was fresh. And, um, and then we had it on that younger wrestler which hasn't had much experience. And that was all it took. I, we got him with a couple throws and I got behind him and I knew it was all over once I got him in the air. Jay Leidick and Steve Nelson winners. Gary Albright, who will fight in our main event, still loosening up, still getting advice from the chiropractor, doing a lot of work to get ready for the main event against Nobuhiko Takada.